Good morning, my name is John Rogers. I'm a professor at UCLA in the Graduate School of Education and Information Studies. And I also direct an institute there. It's the Institute for Democracy, Education, and Access, also known as UCLA IDEA. We've tried in the last decade to, to take a different approach to equity education reform in particular. We th we've thought from the start that American public schools play a critical role in promoting um, democratic possibilities, but oftentimes those possibilities are limited because we have such deep inequalities in our public schools. Not all students get the same opportunities, and in fact, the zip code that you live in largely determines the quality of education you receive. So we've been working with grassroots community organizations, young people um, who are able to to first of all examine the quality of conditions they have, um, establish through evidence what they have and what they don't have, and then advocate on their own behalf. At UCLA IDEA we've worked with young people in a couple different ways. One way is to create space for young people to do participatory action research and then to share this research with key public officials. Recently this is played out in the form of what we call the Youth Council. This year our Youth Council is focused on the impact of the economic crisis on young people inside of schools and outside of schools. And it, this is an issue where they're both able to bring new information to bear. So they've been telling public officials about the sorts of ways that, that young, people, young people's lives have been made more difficult by having larger classes by not having access to the college prep programs, by not having access to secure housing because of, of economic issues beyond schools. We became interested in the possibilities of other sectors of labor, and particularly low-wage service sector union members, in their role as parents and their interest in education reform. And we formed a partnership with SEIU 1877, which is the janitor's union in Los Angeles and is known around the country and around the world as the Justice for Janitors Union. And then we've begun to work with the members of this union creating what we've called a parents university where the members of the union go and, and develop a set of skills about um, what should be going on in your, in your local public school. How do I participate um, more powerfully in my public school in order to advocate on behalf of my child? One of the things that we hear from the young people or the parents and then from the public officials is that when people have information and present themselves as informed, they create a relationship of accountability from the public officials. The evidence combined with the personal testimony made for a powerful combination and made for a combination that not only empowered the young people but gave educators and public officials and members of the community stories that they could hold on to, stories that they couldn't turn away from.